Hey, it's Johnny. Uh, I'm from Pixel Sift. I've just checked out Kept VR. I'm here with the team from S1T2, Jonathan and Inga. Tell us a little bit about the game that you brought to PAX here today. Uh, so Kept is a narrative-based uh, exploration type game. Um, and we're really, I guess, exploring something a little bit morbid in the sense of, um, uh, you know, we're exploring a funeral ritual um, and the journey that you're on uh, in actually letting go of a loved one. Um, and it's sort of like a set in a uh, magical forest-like environment. Um, it's optimised for the HTC Vive at the moment. And so what we've got here is just that sort of first initial sort of demo of, um, of what would probably be like a 20 to 25 minute experience. So for people who haven't played a lot of VR, how do you build a world that's engaging and... Um, that's probably a good one for Inga, actually. Yeah, well, it's kind of different developing for VR because you really need to think about what's in front of you and behind you and making sure that it's really immersive. So we work with a really awesome sound designer that um, just makes the experience really beautiful. And of course, we, tr we try and work on the art and making it as, as beautiful and atmospheric as possible. What has been the reactions of people playing it throughout the weekend? Um, so we were a little bit scared about bringing our work here. Uh, it's our first PAX. Um, and, you know, and your first game as well. It's our first game as well. So, um, so I guess it was always a little bit nerve-wracking to come here and show what we've been working on for the last three months. Uh, but thankfully, so far, the, um, the feedback's been really positive. Um, everyone from people like yourself and all the consumers here as well. Uh, some really great feedback. So I guess it kind of gives us that, that push that we need to go to the next level and you know, work hard for the next five, six months to get it done. So here's a blue sky thought for you. Where do you think the future of VR will be down the track? You do a bit of stuff in this, doing installation and yeah. other work. What Do you think we're going to be playing on headsets like this? Is it all going to be portable? Um, look, I think there are some barriers to entry for consumers. Um, currently, the Vive is pretty expensive at the moment for, for consumers. Um, you know, and then you also need a PC as well. Um, look, for VR as a, as, a, as a technology medium, I think is amazing, you know. I don't think there's any other medium out there that allows people to kind of be completely immersed in an environment and, and be able to kind of explore different um, applications and environments as you go through it. Um, from a consumer perspective, I think gaming world is pretty awesome, uh, but from an enterprise perspective and, um, you know, the non-gaming side of things, I think there's some amazing applications out there as well. So just, you know, the medical industry, uh, training in VR, um, you know, we've been talking to some other people, um, you know, uh, from, from an education perspective as well. So, so we're pretty keen on exploring some of those things and how we can explore VR as a medium for more than just gaming, but, you know, you know wider sort of applications of it. Great. So if people want to come down and check out your game, where should they come to? Uh, you can come to PAX for today and then tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure when this is going up. Well, they can come find you in Sydney. Yeah, when you're you can find us in Sydney, uh, in Surrey Hills. We'll put the address down the bottom of the thing. Just put that there. Um, but you can go to kepgame.com. Um, you can, I guess, check on our progress uh, over the next five, six months. And um, yeah, tell us how we go. Yeah. We've got a blog going on as well at the moment on kept.com, kept um, kept.game.com, sorry. Um, yeah, so we're updating and posting lots of blog articles and stuff on our progress and our, and, um, our processes. So, yeah, just check that out. So if you want to learn more about how you make a VR game, that's a good place to go to. Yeah. Inga, Jonathan, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. Cheers. See you guys.